Right, click you on. Let's see where you are pointing me. Here. Um, I'm going to slide you over there like that, I think, because the last few times you haven't been recording properly. Okay, so this is hmm, take four. What we have to do of the hell back again. I'm not strong enough to carry the microphone stand anymore. Um, okay. Okay, by the way. So I'm gonna try an open mic version now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm chuckling because I see the preceding take. My neighbours. Whose bathroom is that? <laughs> Seem to be in a bit of digestible turmoil. <laughs> I've played some strange gigs, but... While the bridge is burning, I should do while the bridge is burning. Am I in the A minor? You want to hear while the bridge is burning, or do you want to hear the Helen back again? The Helen back again. It's cool. Do you want to hear the Helen back again? The game? No? In that case, I should play. I put some glasses on for this one. They don't help me see anything. I just have to bring this up. But what they do have is because I can't, they, I get so intense on these things. And I'll get some comments where, oh, you always put yourself into it and everything, like, you know. <laughs> but at a certain point when they grow up, my babies will see this. Hi, Dill. Hi, Em. How are you doing that? Um, um, if you want to know when Daddy's doing this, Emily, you are 10 years and one month and 10 days old, 11 days old, I lied. And Dylan, you are 11 years, well, um, 11 years, four months, uh, sorry, four months until your 12th month. My mathematics is no good today. I just kind of think, yeah, he just want to wash his hands and leave, but mm -hmm. might be his teenage son in there, and might not be the bathroom uh, devices that he's doing. Maybe that's how big a fan of mine he is. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll find three plies best. The boys know what I mean. Okay, to hell and back again. I gotta dig out the studio version this this afternoon and find out what the original 1998 version was. I think it's got like a million verses. Should I do a slow one? Wanna hear a slow one? You wanna hear one with the uh, E string where it needs to be? Bounce in the sound off the corner of the room. Not the G sharp. Not that sharp. Spite in shadow. 
shadows Demons of a love blind mind I've lived a thousand nightmares And a thousand more in the wings You danced before antipaths And I knew what your reward would be Put your ear to the cellar door And hark as the polished blade swings You wore many a face Ask who you were inside. No matter how high the victim pile rose, you were never identified. You paint hate as benevolence, and malevolence is love. You took me to hell and back, mortar disguised as love. Your heart is a frozen lake. Your thoughts fall through it as they near it. Like all before me, I feared its touch, but I was too weak to resist. You mesmerized me, then led me to the gallows gate. I met your mother there. She said, how high is the price of a kiss? Whenever you pull your curtains wide, there's a fool's gold rush to your door. Men sell their wives as slaves to buy you finery and lace. You overplayed your bloodied hand, and I found shelter in the eye of your storm. But you took me to hell and back, now I can't even recall your face. Deceit and lies, promising when the sunrise came you would recant your past. But when the light struck my face, you were somewhere and someone else. You took me to hell and back, now you're the one a stranger to themselves. You prophesied a flood and drew your suitors in two by two. I threw my mind away and took my chances the clouds would hold. One day you'll stand in the ruins you created once desire abated. I have been to hell and back and I saw your future foretold. You spoke in hieroglyphics to disguise your true intent when I deciphered what you meant oh the bloody chilled in my veins your smile was a road to nowhere with minds laid on every curve you whispered make it to the bridge and you deserve what little remains your kiss was like an autopsy. How to resist it, that's the game. My thoughts were wall chained, but your sister slipped me the key. Beneath the sunset silhouette, I found the strength to survive. If you make it to hell and back, then come and talk to me. I walked in your forgery footsteps I guess I had to find out where they led You fed the wolves morsels To keep them coming back for more You sing them lullabies Where the innocent are being put to the sword I gave you the world once and you sneered Is this all you can afford? 
black roses grow where your bare feet tread and might has plucked their bloom. When I met you I could see forever. I was blind when I climbed from your room. You wrote your own destiny, a litany of larceny, depravity and rage. Remember driving me to hell and back? Here's your diary, skip to the final page. Three or four takes. My interest does not hold. I just want to do something else. You know, I like the song, but I just want to do other ones. I really should have worked on the tune. It's more of a. Uh, you need the tunings different at the start. Secrets does the sun hold? I guess I need to wait to be told. Does it turn into the moon? They say if I'm patient, I'll find out soon. Us, those glowing bright skies, but it's a clever old moon gives us the tides. Where does the sun go to at night? Where does it hide until daylight? Where's the sun go to at night? It's written by this beautiful young lady here. Here? Here. <laughs> not him. He's not beautiful at all. The lyrics are written by my beautiful, amazing, ultra-talented daughter, Emily. Hi, I think maybe two in the world at this moment. When she was nine years old. That was a long, long time ago. She's just turned ten. <laughs> and uh, whenever I sing that, I always think about my son. This amazing, talented young man here. All the people that watch these videos of me uh, in years to come, remember, 
I told you first about their amazing talents. Am I standing in my place? Emily writes lyrics, plays a piano. I bought her a guitar recently. I don't know if she's been given it. No, I might have. Hope so. Every instrument um, she gets given, she just. And my son, you know, she's just amazing how she can play. And my son Dylan. The viewfinder is backwards. Uh, an amazing percussionist. I bought him his first drum, I think, when he was oh, maybe 18 months old. A little toy one, you know, spun around, you tapped it uh, on the top, and it went ka-choo, ka-choo. And, um, but he was like a metronome from the very first second, you know, you know most children are, I mean, I'm like um, a rhythmic monkey ride on a unicycle and a cobbled path when I play drums. But, um, uh, he got it, he's like, tch, 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 and then, you know, less than, you know, less than 18 months old, because he could barely stand when he was doing it. And, uh, and now he's got a full drum kit, and he's just super talented. But most important of all, I guess, for the world in general, they are the nicest human beings. I'm honoured to know them, and I miss them very much because I haven't seen them since they were. Because we don't live in a very nice country. Please check out my song, As Ye So, So Shall You Reap, if you want to know all that.